Okay. Uh, hi, hi everyone. I'm um, Svetlana Ktova. I'm director of campaigns and justice. It's a disabled people-led organization in London called Inclusion London. We do lots of campaigning um, on issues like housing, social care, benefits and poverty, equality, access. So all kinds of things. Um, and we're also trying to build um, like very strong disabled people's organizations in London. Yeah, is that? <laughs> yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, that's excellent. And then... Um... So... Can meet yeah. you and yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. Um, uh, so um, maybe some of you know um, uh, that um, there is an international document that talks about disabled people's rights. Um, it's called Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, but we here in UK call it Convention on the Rights of Disabled People because we think. We are disabled by society, and this is how this document should be called. But um, anyway, this is like an agreement between different states that they promise to each other that they will protect disabled people's rights. And this document covers lots of different rights, from uh, right to life, um, right to liberty, so you're not locked away somewhere, right to family life, um, a right to uh, control over your body, right to independent living, so you choose where you want to live and get right support to live where you choose to live, um, right to education, right to work, um, also a right to support, um, not to be poor, so it's called adequate standard of living, so basically necessary support you need from the government, from the state, not to live in uh, in really poor conditions and to have enough money to meet your basic needs. So um, you can uh, uh, find, I'm sure, this uh, document and look at it, but UK took very active part uh, in writing this document and, and then um, they signed up for it and also kind of they... Uh, Basically, they promised to other states that they would follow this document. But when, um, after general election in, what was it, 2010, <laughs> long time ago, um, when uh, conservatives came to power and they started implementing different policies, changing welfare uh, system and cutting public services, they also closed, if you remember, Independent Living Fund, so that was, it was a program that um, helped, that gave money to people with complex needs, with high support needs to, to live in community, to uh, hire the APAs or other support to live in community. So conservatives kind of got rid of this and they also remember, you might remember, might not, um, changed some benefits. Um, so basically people started getting less support and um, disabled people as a movement really tried to campaign and oppose this. They were using different tactics from trying to talk to MPs, members of parliament and convince them that this shouldn't happen to direct action, just a protest to taking the government to court. Um, so um, one of the things that uh, we did, Inclusion London was heavily involved in this is to try and complain to UN uh, about what government here is doing. And um, because a lot of evidence was collected on how harmful these policies are and what their um what you know what what, what impact they have on people, um, then UN decided to investigate. They came and they met with people, they met with government. And then in 2016, they came up with um, recommendations, which basically said that UK government's austerity policies and welfare policies made things worse for disabled people compared to how they were. So in that way, they are breaching disabled people's rights. 
And because government just ignored this, um, a year ago, UN decided to call them back and ask them what have they done to, to make things better. And of course, that, that's that's what the what um, um, a group of us went to Geneva for in August, and then in March to talk to um, people, disabled people at UN level who are appointed to oversee how this convention is implemented by different governments. So these are individuals; they don't represent any government although they are appointed by governments they act as individuals and they together called un disability committee so this committee basically questioned us and questioned the government and they look at all other evidence and they said that they are really disappointed that the government didn't do anything and situation actually is getting worse there are some things that they really pointed out like the fact that people are not helped in the right time and then it leads to people reaching crisis point and response to that is to lock people up in different kinds of institutions. Um, they were talking about benefits that they're not enough to live on. Um, they also were talking about um, you know, other different systems of support that are just falling apart. So um yeah, that's um that's what's happening. And unfortunately, um now well when UN published this, um there wasn't like an outrage or anything. Um not a lot was said in the, in parliament about this. Uh there none of the media really covered it extensively. So um it's kind of again silenced and it's really important that we use this to challenge the government and to challenge future government because they still uh, will have to follow these rules and they have to report to UN. And it's actually quite, it's it's shocking that um, UK is one of the richest countries in the world um, is is doing this. And then that, that like international body, which UK was really involved in setting up, um, now tells, uh, well, now uh, kind of looks at this and, and obviously UK was very active in developing this convention and um, and now we are really breaching it as a country. Um, this shouldn't happen. And uh, this is one of the ways that um, our movement, we couldn't find any joy <laughs> campaigning with politicians, but this was a way to document what's going on and to find some uh, justice, I guess, for, for us, at least in recognition that, that this is happening and the government needs to be held into account.